guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Charlie. In today's video, it's going to be a bit different than my tutorials in my other videos. I'm not going to be sitting down just doing an eyeshadow look. I'm going to sit down, do an eyeshadow look and tell you a little bit about myself as I go along. So the questions are just going to be off my phone from Google and I'm just going to do my eyeshadow at the same time. I'm not testing this eyeshadow palette but this is the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be using and it's a new Makeup Revolution collab with a YouTuber called Sabil, I think. Sabil, I think that's how you pronounce her name. So yeah, let's just get on into the video and let's see what kind of look we can come up with. So this is what the palette looks like on the inside. As you can see, it's got three glitters and some shimmers or I think they're just shimmers. I don't even think they're foils. And I don't know if you can see that, but this shade in particular, it's like, it feels like Vaseline with glitter on it. It's, it's like one of those eyeshadows you used to get when you were a child and it was just jelly and it just had a little bit of colour in, in it and some glitter. So I don't even know if that's meant to be a lip balm or, <laughs> like not a lip balm, but like I don't know if it's meant to be for your lips or for your eyes, but she's got that in her other, in her other palette as well because she's got two. So I'm just going to, I don't know, I don't think I'm going to use that one, don't know what to do with it. So I've already primed my eyes with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer and I'm just going to go along and let's just get started. So while I answer the first question, I'm just going to go in with the shade Sombre, which is this orange at the top here. And the first question is, what is your full name? So my full name is Charlie Lisa Carey. And no, I am not really related to Mariah Carey, unfortunately. So, yeah, I'm just going to apply that shade quite high. And I'll just zoom you in so you can see. And it's got good payoff, it really does. By the way, if you're wondering, I'm using a Jeffree Star JS9 brush to apply this shadow. I'm just lifting my eyes up or raising my eyebrows just so I can get it as high as possible without getting it into my eyebrow hair. And today I'm starting from lightest to darkest. I've been watching a lot of Lethal Kitten on here on YouTube, so if you don't know who that is, you need to check her out. Um, she does a lot of amazing eye looks, so yeah, check her out. So when that shade is just packed on, I'm just going to go in with next shade and I think I'm going to go in, I've lost the name sheet, no I haven't, I think I'm going to go in with Namaste which is in the corner here, it's the very first shade there and I'm just going to take the same brush and just pack that into my crease. I have no idea where I'm going with this look by the way. So the second question, I've just got them on my phone here. My second question is, are you named after anyone? No one, I'm not named after anyone specifically, like I'm not named after a family member or I'm not named after a friend that my mum and dad had or anything. I'm, God, this is embarrassing. I'm actually named after, apparently I'm named after the cameraman that came up in a movie, in the movie credits at the end of a movie that my mum and dad were watching just before I was born. So my dad said, <laughs> what, oh, pull somebody out. My, mom, my dad said to my mum, oh, Charlie, that's a nice name. So I'm just named after the cameraman, an unknown cameraman from a movie 
that was made a long time ago. So thanks mum and dad for putting in a lot of effort for my name. Also, I don't really like my name a lot. It's not a great name. I don't get a lot of I don't get a lot of those girly keychains because my name is more boyish than it is girl's name. So no offence to any Charlies that are watching. I don't think you will be. But it's one of those names that's more boyish than it is girlish, so it's never on those on those Facebook pictures like girls who need to go on a holiday. So it's more on those boys who need to go on a holiday kind of list. So I'm just going to go back into that orange which was called Sombre I think and just blend that together with... God I can't remember what the shadows are called. Namaste. Just blend them together. And I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. But Namaste and Sombre are actually like really, sh really sheer shimmery shades so they're not actually matte but they're working really well together third question I've got is if you had to change in your first name what would you change it to I don't know why these questions are all about my names my names my name but if I had to change my first name it would well, I've always liked the name Alice, but I don't think that would suit me. So probably something really simple, just like, I don't know, what's a simple first name for a girl? Let's just go with Alice, because that's what I want to name one of my children. Um, so now I'm going in with the shade. This is a matte shade, and it's the shade Stones. Just a matte brown on the bottom there. Yeah, something probably really simple like Alice. Why not? At least if you have the name Alice, you don't get confused for a boy. So I'm just taking this shade and packing it on the outer corner and a little bit into the crease. And I've changed brushes, so I've got a GS5 now. Fourth question is, where were you born? So I was actually born in North Allerton in England. So yes, I'm English. I don't know whether to say fortunately or unfortunately, but, but I do, I would rather be Scottish. But I do live in Scotland now, so that's another fact about me. So I'm just going to go back in with Namaste. I'm just going to kind of softly blend that together with Plumenic stones. Let me just blend them all together. This is a weird look because it's shiny. Because Namaste and Sombre are shimmers. But this palette doesn't offer a lot of mattes. There's only two. Still, do what you can, eh? So that's what it's looking like so far. Do I think I can zoom in anymore? No, you're zoomed in and all the way you can be. So now I'm just gonna go off camera and cut my crease with the Conceal and Define. So now that the crease is cut, I'm going to go in with the shade. I don't know whether to go for a glitter shade down at the bottom there or whether I should go for satin or just a shimmer even. I think I'm going to come out of my comfort zone a little bit 
because another fact about me, I don't tread out of my comfort zone very much. So I think actually I'm just going to take Jet Set. Actually, let's take Beverly Glam. So I'm going to take this shade, Beverly Glam, in the bottom right hand corner. This is the very last shade. And I'm going to go in with my GS10 packing brush and go onto the cut crease. But before I do that, I'm going to go in with another question, which is, what is your biggest fear? And I guess my biggest fear... <sighs> I'm scared to tell it. <laughs> Ironically. Oh, the shade is a glitter, definitely. I might need glitter glue. Oh, wow. Look at that. Okay, my biggest fear, and this is a two-part question, in my opinion, because... It tells you something else that you didn't know about me, which is actually something I've not told anyone on YouTube, is that I have epilepsy and I was diagnosed when I was, I could like make a whole video on this, but basically I have epilepsy and I was diagnosed with epilepsy when I was 16 years old. So I got my first proper job when I was 16 and I have a caravan or a lodge with my pair, well, with, with my dad down in the Scottish borders and I got offered a job to be a waitress at the bar that they, they have there and obviously I was going to be like, yeah, okay. So I took the job. This glitter is going everywhere. So I took the job as a waitress Happiest punch, you know. Walked in on my first day, serving tables. Um, I got along with the chef really well at the time, but um, a few months into my job, I started having these hand jerks. Like, so I I would be taking plates up to customers, and I would my hands would like jump. Like, there's no way to explain it. It's like <laughs> it's like if you have the heebie-jeebies and you go, Ugh. it's like that, but your hands just go, Ugh. like they vibrate up. Like, I don't know how to explain it. You have to like kind of have epilepsy and the jerks to, to understand. But anyway, I had the jerks and I didn't know what it was. So I was having these jerks and I was serving tables. And obviously you can't really have jerks while you're serving people because... <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I did spill dinner down a few people and I did drop empty plates when I was taking them back to the kitchen and well, as you can guess, I did get fired in the end. Well, I didn't really get fired, I mean it wasn't as brutal as, you know, you're not doing your job right, you're, you're fired, get out. It was more like, you know, Charlie, we can't have this, we, we don't know why or what's going on but we need someone who's not dropping ta uh, dropping plates basically so they let me go and at the time yes it was the right thing to do but you know I felt really down about it I didn't know why my arms were making these movements or I didn't know what what was happening with my body I thought Maybe this was anxiety, so I just accepted it and I went to college the same year. No, actually it was the year after. I went to college the year after. But things began to die down a little bit, so I wasn't, I wasn't having to go down to my, my caravan every single weekend with my dad like I had been used to, so... Um, I managed to stay up with my mum and stuff at the weekend. Sometimes I didn't have to go down to the van and do my work every weekend. It was just a weekend job. I was only 16. Um, so the year after, 2012, oh wow, this is so Christmassy. Look at this. Like that's only like a portion of it. Wow, I really like that. So anyway, yeah. 
the year after, in 2012, I did beauty, the introdu introduction to beauty and health, or health and beauty, at college. So sorry if any positions have changed or if the lighting's changed. I've just been done and had my dinner. And anyway, yeah, I was just going in with a shade, Beverly Glam. I didn't even see its name. It's called Beverly Glam, the glitter shade. And yeah, where was I on the story? So yeah, I was, it was 2012, and I just started my first year at college doing Introduction to Beauty and Health, Health and Beauty. And it was a few months in actually. I was still having these little jerks, but they came and went as they, as they did. Again, I just thought they were anxiety jerks, so didn't think much of them. But then I remember this day specifically. It was, I can't, I can't remember the date actually. It was in November of 2012. I can't remember what date. Anyway, I was about to do a facial on a client who was actually another, she was just a, a study really, just someone to practice on. And I was so nervous because I didn't really remember what I was meant to be doing. I've never been good at keeping, I've never been good at remembering stuff. So I was about to do a facial on her when, oh my God, oh glitter in my eye. I was about to do a facial on her, I was getting her to sign some forms saying like if you have an allergic reaction I am not responsible blah 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 blah. And I remember I was writing my name on this piece of paper and my hand slipped. So my hand slipped on the piece of paper and my hand writing was all scribbled down the page and then I got up after that and I started getting ready to to get her face done and the next thing I remember is I woke up I was on the floor but I was in a good place so I remember I woke up and they had used towels and stuff and rolled them up and placed them under my head because I'd had a seizure and my tutor was there, my best friend was there, well she's not my best friend, like my best friend back from college was there and I said what's wrong, like why am I on the floor and they said you've had a seizure, I said what, like I was so confused and basically I just got taken to, to hospital they did a few tests, they took my blood, they phoned my mum, my mum came, came and obviously she was worried because I'd never had a seizure before, but uh, she, she couldn't even stay in the room when I was getting my blood taken, she hates blood, so my tutor was there, so um, after all of that I got to go home and after that it was just tests after tests. I had EEGs, which is where they place stickers on your head and they like test your brain activity. I had I had like CAT scans. Is that where you go into that? That's where you go to the big machine and they like they test. I don't know. <clears throat> I was in a big machine um, that tested my brain, and I've been on tons of medication. Some worked better than others. Some had horrible side effects where. I remember this one um, specific medication, it was called Lamotrigine and it made me feel really itchy but it was like an itch that you can't scratch. So I remember one night my mum was doing a Reiki on me which is what she used to love doing. It's like just like just trying to calm me down on the massage table and stuff but like without touching me. It's all about energy and through the fingertips, I don't know. And um, 
I remember getting up after my Reiki and I said to my mum, I'm really itchy but like it's like under the skin and I can't scratch it. Like I couldn't I couldn't itch this itch and it was driving me nuts. And then I later found out that it was one of the side effects to my to my um medication. And plus this medication was still making me have seizures, so I tried more medication. And after, you know, highs and lows and highs and lows and all this it's been what well, where are we now? 2019, it's been seven years. And basically I've not had a seizure, fingers crossed, for four years next March. Sorry, next February. February twenty-third, two thousand and thirteen. Fourteen fifty six no. <laughs> well, I don't know what I'm saying. Two thousand and sixteen, February twenty third. That's when I changed onto the medication that I'm on now. And that's when I had my last seizure. Yes. So I've not had a seizure for nearly four years. I've got a new job. Um I work at the co op next to my dad's house. I'm not gonna say where I live. <laughs> I love my job. It's just like Five minutes away in the car. I've got three dogs who live with me. My mum lives over the bridge because I live in like the Edinburgh area, so we're next to the four road bridges. Uh, anyway, next question. So anyway, the big my <laughs> the model of my, the model of my story was that my biggest fear is that I have another seizure or something tips me over the edge and I have a seizure and I can't drink. So I don't drink anyway, but I can't drink like a certain amount but I don't care about that because I don't drink anyway so my biggest fear is having a seizure and like get my license taken off me or losing my job or I don't know I have a lot of fears but mainly having a seizure so I'm going to go back in with stones and place that on the outer corners just to blend in oh these names they should be on palette just to blend in Beverly, Beverly Glam and Stones into my eyeshadow look. And I'm using a, a Morphe brush because I couldn't find my Jeffree Star one. And I'm just going to pack that onto the outer edges of Beverly Glam, the glitter. And, and I'm going to move forward a little bit, just in case you can't see. Just gonna place that on the outer V. Also, one of my other bigger bigger fears, which probably a lot of people have as a fear, is spiders. I hate spiders. I don't know why I picked glitter. That's my dad shouting at the dog. So yeah, anyway, another little fact. I've got four dogs. Three live here with me and my dad. So I've got two Jack Russells and one Yorkie. The Yorkie is my dog. Bought him myself with my own dollars. Can't believe I just said that. I bought him myself with my own money that I made from work because I have a job. So yeah, he was £500. Still debating whether or not that was money down the drain or not. Bring back some of Namaste. So you think I don't want the glitter to go everywhere. Look how gorgeous that red is. Look at that red, it's gorgeous. That, I, don't, I still don't know whether that's lip gloss or not. I'm going to have to watch a tutorial on YouTube. But I don't think anyone's done a tutorial yet for it. Because it's recent, it's like just out. So I'm just taking that right into the inner corner with my GS5 brush. Nothing wrong with putting a shimmer on your lady. And oh wow, look at all that fallout. Look at all that fallout. But that's what you get for using the glitter. So I'm just going to go off camera 
do this eye, and get rid of all the glitter, and then we'll do some more questions. So that's me back. I've just done my left eye, and I wasn't going to bother doing my whole makeup because it's 8 o'clock at night, and I'm just going to be wiping it off anyway. I just wanted to get on here, do an eyeshadow look, because I haven't done any eyeshadow in ages. I have all these palettes sat around, and I haven't used any of them, so I thought I would just sit down, do a not really a Q&A but like a get to know me and film my eyeshadow look while doing it. So this is what the eyes are looking like. They're nothing special, it's just like glitter. I mean it's a nice Christmassy makeup look. Sorry I'm just looking in the viewfinder. Yeah it's really nice, kind of like burnt orange Christmassy look. You could wear this on Christmas day but yeah, to be fair right. I look good with glitters, so you can kind of still see the concealer underneath. I put some mascara on, don't know why I did that. So you can still kind of see the glitter underneath. It's transferred onto the orange, so I hate glitter. I'm not a, I'm not a fan of glitter. I like foiled eyeshadows, but I don't like glitter. Who's my favourite actor? My favourite actor, if I had to pick just one, would definitely be Will Smith. Yeah. Will Smith is such a good actor. I love him. And he's so down to earth. Like, he's got an Instagram where he posts funny videos and he posts throwbacks and I just love him. He's a, such a nice guy. Who is your favourite celebrity? I don't have one. I don't have a favourite celebrity. Like, I'm really enjoying Shane Dawson and, and Jeffree Star right now, but like, I wouldn't say they're my favourite celebrities at the moment. What is your ch favourite childhood memory? My favourite childhood memory... I've got so many. I was a happy child. So one of my favourite childhood memories is... So I mentioned my lodge. Well, it was it's a lodge now. But we used to have a caravan on the site where I used to work as a waitress. And it's the same site. Like we have a lodge there now, but it used to be a caravan. But um, just playing down there is one of my favourite memories, like it was such a a childhood, a big childhood thing for me, like I always spent my weekends down there with my dad. Or we even had a caravan down in uh, Scouts Croft in Eyemouth and I used to love going there and I've actually gone there this month again on a wee week's holiday with my dad and oh my god this eyes itching so badly. The blooming glitter. So yeah, just being down at the caravan, spending time with family. And I really like fishing. So fishing on the Norfolk Broads with my dad. I'd like to like do a spa day with my mum as well. What is my favourite food? I was kind of hoping this question would come up. My favourite food is fish and chips. Is that a food? Or is that a meal? But fish. Fish. Battered fish. Yum. What is your favourite ice cream flavour? Ben and Jerry's cookie dough, hands down. And if it's not that, it'd have to be chocolate ice cream. What is your favourite quote? Oh, I've got, I've got quite a few fam uh, favourite quotes. Like live flat, like <clears throat> live your day, live. <laughs> I've got so many favourite quotes like live this day like it's your last or do what don't leave what you can do today for tomorrow or something like that. Don't don't leave till tomorrow what you can do today. Um Oh, another uh, favourite quote is Everything happens for a reason. I say that all the time. If one door opens, another one... No, if one door closes, another one opens. You know, stuff like that, cheesy stuff. Positive quote, quotes are my favourite. What is your favourite song? My favourite song... So like... Oh, my favourite song! I was just going to say that I've got like tons of like random songs from random artists on my, my Spotify, but no, my favourite song ever is Alive by Celine Dion. What was your favourite subject in high school? 
My favourite subject in high school had to be history, I think. I love history. History is one of my favourite things ever. What was your favourite childhood TV show? Friends. I kind of grew up in that era, you know. I was born in 1995, so I'm 24. Just turned 24 on September 6th. So, when I was a child, Friends was still on. But like, I don't know, like you wouldn't watch Friends as like a like an, a five year old would you so I don't know but I did like friends a lot. I had tons. CBBC and CBBS had lots of good shows. Am I a dog person or a cat person? Well I've got four dogs and no cats so are you a good cook? I literally had a microwave meal for my dinner, but that's only because me or my dad couldn't really be bothered putting in any effort. I don't ever put in any effort for dinner. I mean, I'll shove something in the cooker, but no, I don't cook. If you had more courage, what would you do differently in your life now? If I had more courage, I don't know. Yeah, if I had more courage, I'd probably <laughs> try harder to get a boyfriend, go out and meet people better, because I don't, I don't really leave my house. I'm either at work, at home with my dad, or at home with my mum, in the on the other side of the bridge. So probably get out more. But I'm, I've got anxiety, so. Who has left the most impact on your life? By the way, I don't know how many questions I'm going to answer. I'm just seeing, just browsing through a, bu a bunch of questions and answering the one, answering the ones that look good, that sound good. The best impact, the most impact on my life. My parents. Like I don't want to see my mum or my dad. I'll just see my parents. Can you close your eyes and raise your eyebrow? Okay, let's see. I don't know which eyebrow is going to pop up, so. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, can I? Can you whistle? Yes, I can whistle. <laughs> can you dance? Not last time I checked. Do you remember your dreams? Yes, I wake up and I'm like, no, I want to go back to sleep and relive this dream. Sometimes you have good dreams, you just don't want to wake up. Do you sing in the shower? Yes, I really I really do. I sing in the shower so loud, I get told off quite a lot. So for Christmas, I want a speaker to like connect to my phone to sing in the shower. Do you sleep with the lights on or off? Off. I mean, when I was younger, I used to sleep with them on because I used to hate scary films. And once I watched Jeepers Creepers 2 with a friend at the time, and I had nightmares for, for ages. Do you take any pills or medication daily? Yes, I take nine pills or tablets a day for my epilepsy and anxiety. <gasps> Do you prefer Titanic or the notebook? Titanic. I am a huge fan of the Titanic. Like, not even the movie. I mean, the movie's great, but the actual ship. They're actually creating Titanic second. Do you have a catchphrase? I don't think I have a catchphrase, but I was thinking the other day, if I ever made it on YouTube, I mean, I've got 61 subscribers as of now, but if, which I'm very grateful for, by the way, I love all my subscribers, but if I had up to like 10,000 and I really smirch one day, I think my catchphrase would be, so yeah, because I always say so, yeah. I used to say, um, literally a lot, but that's not a catchphrase really. Do you have a garden? <laughs> Such a simple question. Yes, I have a garden at my dad's, but not really a garden at my mum's. I mean, it's a joined garden because we live above someone. So 
We share their garden. Do you have any tattoos? No, I have no tattoos. I am very boring and plain. And I'm, I don't want a tattoo either. Oh my God, I just thought of something. Another quote that I could, like the quote I would have tattooed on me if I could, would be, and it's one from Titanic. Ah, ow. It's, um, make, make it count. Oh, that is the best quote ever. Make it count. Like, because it means like two different things. It's one, it's uh, related to Titanic, which I really, really love. And two, make it count. Like, you only live once, so make every day count. So, yeah. <laughs> See? So, yeah. <laughs> Do you have pets? Yes, I've told you I have four dogs. Do you have any birthmarks? If so, where? No, I have no birthmarks. Do you have a best friend? If so, then who? Yes, I have one specific very best friend and her name is Jasmine. Jasmine, if you're ever watching this and you see this, you're my best friend. I'm sorry, I'm cheesy. Katie, you come in a close second. Do you believe ignorance is bliss? Why or why not? Yes, ignorance is bliss. I think the less you speak to someone, the more they miss you. So, you know, Having a having a wee having a wee break between seeing each other, speaking to each other, is blissful. Do you believe in love at first sight? Hmm. I don't know. It's never happened to me. No. I mean, you think you can find someone attractive at first sight, but that doesn't mean you know them. Or it could be a a criminal just out of the, the jail <laughs> and you've just seen them and gone woo they're really pretty or woo I'm in love but they're actually like an axe murderer <laughs> who sent the last text message you received oh god here we go not a very popular person It'd be like from O2 or something no it was my auntie Debbie who was your first celebrity crush oh my god Probably not Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't know, I've always liked Leonardo DiCaprio. No, you know who it was? Geddon Howell. No one will, none of you will know who this is. But if he's ever seen if you have ever seen young Jack Ma from C B B C or BBC, because they brought it onto BBC because it was a bit older. But it's kinda of like poor kids, but I really like it. Eh him. Geddon Howell. The lad, that's his name. There's so many questions, like I could go on forever, like I think I'm just going to stop now. So yeah, hopefully you've gotten to know me a bit better. Char I'm Charlie, I'm 24, I live in Livingston in the UK. I have a job at the co-op, I have no tattoos or birthmarks. That's me. I'm a pretty boring old gal. This is one of my wee dogs, this is my dog. So, come here. Oh, puppy breath. <laughs> Anyway, thank you so much for watching if you've watched up to this far. This is the eye look I've done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll try and post another video sometime this week. Kinda wanna get back into the swing of things and uh, film more tutorials. So. so anyway, I'm gonna love you and leave you. Thanks for watching. See you later.